good morning and sairam students welcome to your english class today we are going to start a new chapter of grammar that is formation of word now what is formation of words formation of words mean when we are forming new words so it is uh, formation of word mean when we are creating new words there are several processes through which we can create new words but today we are we are going to learn is a very basic method that means we are having a word with us and we are going to add either a prefix or a suffix prefix means a word which is added before a word suffix means which is added after a word so for example if i give you a word like run and i add ing into it here ing is suffix because we are adding it at the end so now the new word which will uh, we get will be running so here a new word is formed that is running so we have base word here we have suffix here and a new word is formed that is running so this is how word formation is done so now let us see that today through which part of speech we are going to learn this word formation we have eight part of speech but only four part of speech are there through which we can form words because other than that all these were all these part of speech like pronoun preposition conjunction and interjection through them we cannot form a word because they are very limited and they are limited to a certain area but with the help of with the help of noun verb adjective and adverb we can form new words we can form new words by if we have a noun with us we can add prefix or suffix to it and it will become a new word so today we are going to learn how with the help of only these four part of speech we are going to form words so let us start today we are going to learn that how from verb we are going to get noun that is we are having verb with us and by adding a suffix to it we are going to get noun like the word is here perform and if we are going to add nce to it it will become performance we are having offend if we are going to add nce to it it will become offense in the same way the words are here pretend will become pretense excel will become excellence sustain will become sustains the next case is of the next type of suffix that is shun if we have a verb attend and we add suffix to it that is shun the new word will become attention complete will become completion imagine will become imagination contradict will become contradiction imitate will become imitation so this is the second case now the third case is that of adding s i o n shun the same thing permit will become permission provide will become provision convert conversion admit admission extend will become extension now if we have to add r e like we are having a word please but if we add r e as a suffix to this word it will become pleasure proceed with this we are going to add r e it will become procedure seize will become seizer laugh will become laughter mix will become mixture so this is how we add suffix we add suffix to this and from verb we get a noun 
Now the next case is of adding M E N T meant. After adding meant as a suffix to these words, we are going to get a noun. For example, the first word is merry. It will come merriment. Agree will become agreement. Move will become movement. Refresh will become refreshment. Attach will become attachment. The, ne the next case is of adding suffix y. We have to add y as a suffix in these words. Discover, discover will become discovery. Deliver will become delivery. Vacate will become vacancy. Unite will become unity. Recover will become recovery. The next is of adding ing. Mean will become me sorry. Mean will become meaning. Learn will become learning. Belong will become belonging. Die will become dying. Grow will become growing. But at times it happens that when we are adding such suffix, a few changes are there in the spellings. So we have to keep that in mind that the spellings which are changing, we should know them also. The next is if we have to. Uh, make a new word from a verb into a noun. So that change is very minor here. That is like here if we see an example of practice. We have example of practice. Some write practice like this and some like write practice like this. Both are correct but their meaning becomes different. Here practice is verb because it is having s here. This practice is noun because it is having c here. So the only difference is of c and s. So here you should remember practice if it is having s it is a verb and noun if it is having practice it is having c. In the same way, advice, S is there. But if you have to change it into noun, it will become advice. But the only difference is of C. Instead of writing S, we have to write C. Choose will become choice. Device will become device. Prophecy will become prophecy. The pronunciation will remain the same. But the only difference is that instead of writing S, we have to write C. And the last case is that there is no rule while writing or changing this verb to noun. They are miscellaneous. They have no rules for them. So we have to learn them as it is. Like grieve will become grief. Prove will become proof. Hate become hatred. Believe become belief. Go become gate. Land becomes loan, do become deed. So in this case, in miscellaneous case, there is no particular rule. So we have to learn them as they are. So this was all that today we learned that how we can change or how we can form a new word from a verb to a noun. So this is your homework that you have to learn these tables as it is. With this, we end our class and we will continue this chapter in the next class. Thank you students.